some opportunities for some good golf in there. Uh, and if you're thinking about that, the St. Joseph Hospital Foundation is gearing up for its annual golf tournament. Just about that time, and we're joined by Barry Stumbo, President and CEO of the St. Joseph Foundation. Barry, good to see you as always. Thanks for nice coming. Nice to see you, Bill and Barbara. St. Joseph Glad has a growing presence in Central Kentucky, Eastern, Southern Kentucky, and so forth. What kinds of things does the foundation make possible for those hospitals? Well, for instance, the proceeds from this tournament uh, are going to benefit our, our clinical pastoral program. Uh, they're going to benefit uh, our artwork that we're purchasing for our new St. Joseph Educational Cancer Education Center over at St. Joseph East. And of course, Traditionally, it supported the Appalachian Outreach Program, which we counsel patients and their families, about 10,000 uh, discharged patients and their families each year in Central and Eastern Kentucky. Clinical scholarships uh, for uh, students at local colleges and universities uh, that come to work at St. Joseph. So all these dollars are very, very well spent. You really touch a lot of lives, I know. This is the 23rd year for the event. I know it's really grown. Barbara, you know, very quietly, uh, very subtly, I think this is one of the biggest golf tournaments in central uh, Kentucky. We'll have about 280 golfers. We'll have about 75 volunteers. As you mentioned, it is the 23rd year, and we have already netted over $1.1 million for this program. Wow. So we, we are very careful to be good stewards of our donor dollars and spend them wisely. Do you have a goal for this year that you're public about? Um, well, we're hoping to raise about $125,000 this year, Bill. Yeah. Yeah. And we're on track to do that right now. So tell us a little bit more about what people can expect because, uh, you know, you really do make sure that they have a good time. Well, actually, I'm wearing red in honor of my friend R.J. Corman because we'll have his helicopter out there uh, doing our golf ball drop, which is always very exciting. Uh, KYT has been a big part of in the past, and we appreciate those efforts. And, and of course, we're, we have our, our tournament shotgun start at 1 o'clock. Uh, we've got our lunch at, at noon. We've got a wonderful dinner and, and lunch prepared by Spindle Top. And our, uh, our goodie bags are always filled with great things from Bluegrass Oxygen, our presenting sponsor, and, and Zanrock Construction as well. So a lot of sponsors, a lot of people are involved in this thing for, for a wonderful cause. And your point right now is to get this on folks' calendars. It's coming up in June, right? June 11th, Bill. June 11th. And uh, I'm sure the number is uh, on the screen. They can call the office. Uh, we're still... Uh, have some sponsorships available and, and hope to get that a company of 280 players. And we have been successful doing that about the last four or five years. It's, it's really grown tremendously. Yeah, really. people can come out and get those good teams and have a great time with it. Absolutely. All right. Thank Barry, you. Yeah, thank you all for all your help, too. Thank I, you we for appreciate all you, that all very much. All you do much. in the community as well, Barry. Thank, thank you. you. We're coming